Hello, I'm Mark Langfan, and I want to thank everyone for coming. And I want to introduce you to the two people who have given me a love of Israel and the love of the Jewish people. The first is my dad, who you will see as well today. And also, and most importantly, is my mom. May she rest in peace. She gave me an unconditional love of Zionism and an unconditional love of Judaism. I can't thank them enough, and they are both my shining stars. With us now is Mark Langfin, and no, he is not a chef, and this is not cookie dough. It's not a cooking segment. I'm a Jewish American, and I'm concerned about the state of Israel. Mark is here because he has made an, a very significant model of the northern part of Israel, and he's here to tell us about it and why it is so important. Mark, tell us a bit about the model. Twenty years ago, I won the Defender of Jerusalem Award from the Jerusalem Reclamation Project, and it has been one of the most important awards that I've ever gotten, and I won it for the creation of my three-dimensional topographic map of Israel. Most people, when they look at my map, they say, oh, this is the West Bank. I say, nope, that's not the West Bank. The West Bank is this entire mountain range right here. And sitting over here, under this blue patch, is 70% of Israel's Jewish population and 80% of her industrial base. So when they're talking about going back to the 1967 border, they're talking about going back to this spot right here, where there's 10 miles between this and the Mediterranean Sea, and where 4 million Jews are right here, and you've got a huge Palestinian West Bank state right there. Now, a lot of times when people just see it, the mere seeing of it, it's like a, a, an experience for them. Because generally speaking, people commonly think the West Bank is a side, a little bit of the side of a river. So Jerusalem is really the heart of Israel, and Jerusalem is right here. And the West Bank is the lungs of Israel. Judea and Samaria are the lungs that enable Jerusalem to survive, and Jerusalem is the heart of Israel that enables the lungs to survive. And the lungs of Judea and Samaria protect the four million Jews that are under this blue patch. And on the screen there is a, a, a picture of a Katusha rocket. Now, it's very important that you look at this Katusha rocket and understand the power of it. Ten years before the Katusha rocket started falling from the Gaza Strip, I warned people about Katusha rockets being fired from evacuated areas. Even though the Israeli generals said it was okay and they weren't going to fire Katusha rockets. But now let me explain to everyone why the West Bank is Israel's protection from being annihilated. If, God forbid, you gave back, gave up the West Bank, they would be able to fire the same Katusha rockets from the West Bank into Tel Aviv. And the difference is, while they fire the rockets now into relatively uninhabited, very sparsely populated areas around Gaza Strip, if they got Judea and Samaria, they would fire rockets into heavily populated areas. It's as if when they fire this from here, it's like firing from North Dakota into North Dakota. You barely are going to hit anything. But if you have the rockets from here to here, it's like firing from Brooklyn into Manhattan. You're bound to kill someone with a rocket. That's why the entire West Bank is vital for Israel's survival, and the West Bank and Judea and Samaria are vital for the defense 
and protection of a united Jerusalem. And nobody, but nobody, protects and defends a united Jerusalem like a Teret Kohanim. They are the foundation. They are the rock of a united Jerusalem. And I urge everyone here to fully support a Teret Kohanim with their time, with their effort, with their love, and with their contributions. Please, please support a Teret Kohanim to the best of your ability. Thank you very much.